All right, what is going on guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media back with another Dokkan battle video and today we are jumping back in to the legendary Goku event with none other than the Easy A Fizz Vegito Blue. Now, I don't know if you guys are getting tired of seeing gameplay from him, but I definitely won't be getting tired of using him anytime soon. So it's just something you'll have to kind of, you know, put up with for a little while on this channel, all right? And you know what? The timing is actually perfect for this video because I still haven't cleared the Legendary Goku event with the Realm of Gods team since the new missions came out. So we're gonna do that for the first time right here, right now. And without further ado, let's jump in. And I don't know about you guys, but I am super, super excited to see the Machito Blue kick MUI Goku's ass in the final stage with the type advantage and all those supers, all those counters. It's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be freaking awesome. But first things first, we do have to get through quite a few of these other stages. Uh, I think the Friends of Masu and Mai Zamasu are both exactly the same. So mine has one dupe, the friend has uh, one dupe as well. Okay, so yeah, it doesn't really matter who we use here. Um, I mean, eventually I'll probably take both of them out of rotation since I don't trust Zamasu at all defensively, even though he does have uh, that damage reduction. I don't feel like it's enough in the later stages. Okay, here we go. We're getting supered. 78k is okay. 78k is okay. Now, obviously in the earlier stages, he's not going to struggle too bad, but when you get to like the Super Saiyan God Goku, Super Saiyan Blue Goku, and uh, especially MUI Goku, Zamasu really can't tank those hits. So uh, yeah, we're going to keep them out of rotation as much as possible. And wait, with this team, can I use the active skill? Oh, I don't think I can. I was thinking like, can I activate the active skill for SSBKK on this team? But I don't think I have enough reps of Universe 7 to actually get that going. Uh, so that's unfortunate, but it's okay. We don't need it for this run. All we need is this beautiful Vegito Blue right here, and we're good to go. Okay, so we're off to a good start. Should be finishing the first stage very, very soon. And uh, moving on to Super Saiyan Goku, but first things first, I'm gonna- <laughs> Holy crap, dude. Yeah, did not expect that high of an attack stat from Vegeta this early. And an additional two- that- <laughs> That super attack animation gets me every time, man. Why does he have to go so low? Why, why does he have to like bend all the way back like that? Like the freaking exorcist. It's crazy. Um, what was I gonna say again? Oh, I wanna take this opportunity while you know there's nothing you know too exciting going on in this video to um flex a little bit flex on you guys a little bit so <laughs> don't get mad all right but my luck on the jp account has just been absolutely ridiculous i know some people keep saying yo you don't have a main jp account i do actually it's fairly new right i still haven't Ooh, that's a lot of damage damn um, I still haven't like awakened all my units yet or anything. I've been probably grinding it for about like six months on and off. And uh, that is my main JP account. So your boy does have a main JP account, even though, you know, I'm a global main. Still going to remain that way forever. But I do have a lot of love, all right, for the JP side, especially recently, because I just can't stop pulling LRs, man. Now, the LR Broly, Chi Lai, and Lemo is still eluding me, which makes me a little sad. But you know what? I did get two copies of the LR Rosé, and uh, last night, I collected 50 stones from like some, you know, missions and also from login, and I was like, yo, we have exactly 50 stones, right? So I gotta do a multi, like it's just, it's mandatory. I had to do a multi. Yo, we can't super? Um, Man, okay, that sucks. So we'll probably still get supers with additionals, so it's not like a huge deal, but it's kind of annoying. Kind of annoying. Anyways, I did the multi on the Broly banner, the Broly and Rose banner, hoping to get uh, my first copy of Broly. And I got, so first things first, I got Beerus coming in, right? So I was like, okay, so chance for a rewind, right? We could potentially get a new unit that way. But then, um, you know, we went, like, after everybody flew away, we got the gold text. So I was like, okay, so guaranteed LR time, right? Guaranteed LR time, because the gold text is guaranteed fusion, got Vegito Blue. And the final card of that multi. Yo, this is a very long way to tell this story. I apologize, but I'm trying to like set it up, you know, trying to make it more exciting. Uh, very last unit of the multi. 
ended up being a... Uh, I should not transform him, should I? I think he has less defense. Yeah, we're going to keep him um, as just like the regular merged Zamasu for now. And maybe at the very end, I'll pop the active skill just for like that extra damage. But for now, I think we're okay. Yeah, okay. And obviously, this Goku Black is very, very untanky right now but he builds defense really fast because he greatly raises defense every time he supers all right um what was i gonna say again i totally forgot man my mind is like constantly there's so many things going on uh did i tell you i pulled kelly Khalifla? yeah so in that multi where i was going for the broly chili and lemo your boy got his first copy of kale and Khalifla on jp and that is like probably the 10th new lr in the last I want to say maybe thousand stones on JP, which I mean it might be a lot to some people, but oh crap, <sighs> didn't didn't click the right orb. I was trying to go for the fizz orbs, but at least our Super Saiyan Blue Goku will be pretty pretty good now. Um, but yeah, man, in like the last thousand stones on JP, I've pulled like ten new LRs, and if you you know go back a little bit more to like the last 1500 stones i've pulled like 15 20 lrs in that span right uh five of those five of those were uh, lr gogeta so five lr blue gogetas i rainbowed him on jp after going like 3000 without a single copy but we're not gonna talk about that we're not gonna we're, gonna, we're not gonna talk about that all right that's um that's the past we're gonna focus on the future and the right now and right now my luck on JP has been crazy. Now what I'm hoping is that all that crazy JP luck will transfer over to the global side of the game when a cooler comes out because you guys know, you guys know how bad I want that cooler man. Like if I can get the cooler then I'll be okay for pretty much every banner until the five year anniversary because cooler will keep me satisfied for a couple months, right? Like I just I just want him so bad. I don't have a uh, proper lead actually for transformation boost, so he would solve that problem. But also just he himself as a unit is just so insanely awesome. And of course having him will uh, ensure that we have like an awesome support unit for the Go Blue Gogeta and Blue Vegito when they drop for the five year anniversary in July. So. Uh, that's gonna be nice as well. Um, yeah, super super excited for Cooler. Please, Bandai Gods, don't like troll me and give me the best luck on JP, which I don't play nearly as much as my global accounts. Just just please, don't do that to me. Don't do that to me. Oh, don't gonna attack this early. Damn. Okay. Okay. Focus. One, two, three, four, five, six. Boom. Got it. What's the attack stat here? Should be one point seven. Yeah, about 1.7 million. Not bad. Not bad. Maybe I should have popped an item for the middle. Uh, because Super Saiyan Blue Kalkin Goku, I don't think has taken a single hit yet, man. I don't think he's taken a single hit yet. Second super. Very nice. No crit still. Um, but yeah, he is not very tanky at the moment. A super to Super Saiyan Blue Kalkin will do like 300,000 damage right now. Did he take any hits? I don't remember. Either way, his attack is pretty high now, 1.8 mil, so maybe we did take some hits. Oh god, okay. Oh, 200,000? That's actually way better than I expected. Okay, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. Um, we're gonna heal up next turn with uh, the Zamasu, and then maybe I'll pop like a Princess Snake, although it's kind of early to pop an item, so I might... Oh wait, I forgot, we... <laughs> We just don't get attacked. I, I, I didn't think about that. Okay, so we're fine then. Um, well, ooh, okay, 100k already for in Goku Black. And I think we'll actually be able to finish him off, uh, Super Saiyan 3 Goku off, with Int Black or in Black and Tamasu. So there's nothing really to worry about here. Uh, still taking 14k though, that's kind of surprising considering we have 100k defense. But after this super, um, we should be doing a lot better. Where are the additionals, man? Where are the freaking additionals? Yeah, look at that. After that super, it went from, what, 16k to 45 damage now. Absolutely massive difference. All right, there we go. So now we're going to move on to Super Saiyan God Goku. This dude um, scares me a little bit. 
I can't lie, his supers scare me actually a lot. Uh, and I gotta say, putting Zamasu at the end is very, very scary. So maybe I should pop an Icarus? I don't really use items though, I don't... Mm. Okay, you know what? Yeah, I don't trust Zamasu at the end. So we're gonna pop an Icarus. And when we, when we get to the final stage, the thing is, like, I don't think we have to worry too much about MUI Goku because we have Vegito Blue um, with the type of advantage, so... Uh, we can probably afford to use that item. Probably. Hopefully. Okay. Here we go. Alright, give me a nice crit counter. Alright, no crit. Okay, yeah, so at this point, any counter that's not a crit is gonna do no damage because the attack stat actually isn't high enough. Um, unless we like stack up a few supers first, stack up some attack that way, and then we can do some damage with our counters. But uh, yeah, with uh, without any attack boosts, the counters don't do enough damage. So maybe at this point it will. Let's see. Okay, that was a crit anyways. So we're good. Almost a million with the counter uh, right there. His damage is just so crazy. His damage output is just so insane, man. I don't know what Bandai was thinking when they made this unit. But I ain't complaining, all right? I'm not gonna, you know, complain about them making this guy absolutely busted. Um, I mean, it, it's really great because like a lot of us, um, especially people who have been playing this game for a while, right? Like we've come to, ooh, okay. So we got the Rose transformation finally. Um, we've come accustomed, we've become accustomed to just being disappointed with uh, things that are really hype, right? Like, that's why I keep telling people to don't, don't get too excited for for things like um, Extreme Z Awakenings for super hype units or like really hype releases because a lot of the times when our expectations are too high, we set ourselves up to be disappointed. So I tell people not to do that, but this guy actually like exceeded expectations, which is just crazy to me. Okay, anyways, <laughs> let's take a look at uh, Rose real quick. So, okay, just to confirm, yes, he still greatly raises defense once he transforms, uh, which is amazing. We have type advantage here as well, so I don't think I have to worry about, um, you know, taking damage at all here. Uh, maybe Vegeta is not going to do that hot because he only got three orbs, but even then, I don't think we'll take that much damage because he already did a few supers, so he already stacked some defense. Yo, I never get to see this animation. This is actually sick. I, like, you forget how dope this guy's animation is. Because, like, you just never get to see it. But, um, I should definitely bring in more on, like, these runs, because I love his animation. And he's probably still in, like, the top five of, like, best TUR animations in the entire game. It's just, the, it's just a shame, man. It's just a shame that we don't get to see his Rose like transform animation that often. In fact, I think, to be completely honest, I think that, uh, now don't get mad at me, all right? I know this might be a little bit controversial, <laughs> but I truly believe that this Rose's animations are actually better than the, uh, what do you call it? Than the Int Rose, no, well, this is also Int Rose. I'm trying to say the LR in Rose that just dropped on JP. I think this one, the old into Rose, actually has better animations than the, the new into Rose. That's just my personal opinion. Obviously, the new in Rose is just absolutely ridiculous. But um, I mean, I'm just being honest. Like, I think it looks better. I think this guy's animations post transformation look better. All right. Um, so obviously, a ton of defense here from into Rose, so maybe I should do it like this. I think that would probably make the most sense. Uh, all right, yeah, I, I think that makes the most sense. Uh, Super's gonna do so much damage, honestly, but I mean, what are the chances of us getting Super in the middle or at the end, right? You know what I mean? Because there's so many attacks in the first slot, most likely the Super gonna land on the first slot, right? Yeah, the game, yeah, there we go, there we go. I was gonna say, the game wasn't, wouldn't do me like that, man. The game wouldn't, you know, make the one attack in the middle or the end. Holy crap. Still did that much damage? Yo, we had, we have probably like close to 200,000 defenses still did that much damage. Wow. 
Well, it's a good thing it's not, it wasn't it wasn't on one of the Zamasus, because we would have just died if it was on one of the Zamasus. Man, that would have killed us. Um. Anyways, anyways, we're, we're still alive. We're still alive. Just gotta be a little bit more careful at this point because I feel like I was just, just like taking it too easy up to this point. Uh, definitely time for another item. So I'm gonna put Vegito here. I'm gonna use an Aider because we're very low HP, so we can actually make a lot of use out of that uh, healing right there. And I'll give these to SSBKK. Give this one to him, and then our Vegeta is going to be super tanky as well and do a, probably a lot of damage. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Oh, this one's better. There we go. Okay, so we're back to full health now. I should check how much attack actually the uh, Vegeta has because it should be quite a bit at this point after all these attacks. Um, yeah, so uh, going back to my controversial statement, yeah, I think that this Rosé has better animations. Let me know in the comments down below if you agree. Um, but speaking of Rosé, like, thank God, like, thank God we chose Biz Vegito Blue over uh, AGL Rosé for the global first Extreme Z Awakening. Because can you imagine how upsetting it would be if we chose AGL Rosé? And right before that, like right before we actually get it, JP gets a way better version of Rosé, right? Like they just got, oh, another additional from Vegeta? That's crazy. He might, he's probably gonna finish him off. Oh, so close, so close. But yeah, can you imagine like how sad it would be, it would have been if we got the, we chose the AGL Rosé and then you know, we just saw JP get the Int LR Rosé, who's like ridiculously busted. And no matter how good, right, no matter how good they would have made the AGL Rosé Awakening, it would have never come close to the LR on JP. And it would have just been a really, really sad time to be a, to be a global player at that point. So I'm so glad we chose the Vegito Blue. I mean, I never had any doubt Honestly, I never had any doubt that we were going to choose that, like that one was going to win. Um, but just the thought, just the thought of that potentially, like being our real reality, it, it's scary. <laughs> that scares me. Anyways, it all worked out. <laughs> it all worked out because we did choose the right character and uh, it's all good. So now, um, I think we are okay. To use some more items, so I'm gonna pop another Icarus here, and hopefully, I mean, yeah, our, our face Vegito Blue is not gonna do much work here. Like he he just can't handle the attacks from STR UI Goku. So we're gonna let him take a back seat here. Oh damn, damn, that's that's still a good amount of damage from normal attacks. Oh my god, so. If we're gonna take a super, hopefully it's in the last. Oh, actually, you know what? None of these guys can take a super, so I guess it's it's gotta be him. Under 70k, yeah, that's okay. That's okay. And uh, watch, even after we do like two or three supers, we're still gonna be taking so much. Or we have only one super, maybe. Yeah, this is still gonna. Oh, only 31 damage. Okay, 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 okay. I see, I see. <laughs> Um, alright then, so this guy is not as scary as I thought he would be, and I don't think anybody on this rotation really needs items, probably. Like is AJL Zamasu gonna take a ton of damage even with the type of advantage? He still has what, 30% damage reduction, right? Should be enough, it should be enough. Okay. So most likely we're going to beat this, but I'm not going to confirm it yet just because I don't want to jinx myself. So <laughs> we're just going to go with the flow, see what happens. But uh, yeah, guys, I'm very excited for STR Cooler to come out. Um, if you're watching this video the day it releases, then we're about five days away. Obviously, if you watch it later, then he might have already come out. Or maybe if you're watching this a year later, then it's not rel relevant anymore. But for right now, for right now global players can expect the cooler to drop in about five days and as far as the rest of the you know, release timeline on global after cooler uh, we're most likely going to get something for Saiyan day right 
55k. That's okay. That's okay. But yeah, most likely we're gonna get something at the same time as. Uh, oh my god. That is so many attacks. That is so many attacks. <laughs> um, I think I'm gonna Ghost Usher here. Yeah, I think that is the smartest thing we could do here. And. Uh, actually, I should, probably should have saved those. Yeah, I should have saved those for Super Saiyan Blue, but he'll still have a few here. So we gotta get lucky, get some crits here, and like this is this is literally the only stage of the fight that scares me, because he just like we just cannot handle any supers on our Vegito Blue or even like my I mean Super Saiyan Blue Goku if you had like focused on him enough. He would have probably been able to tank some attacks, but I, I didn't get him to super enough at this point. Yo, that was almost 3 million! That was almost 3 million attack right there that he dodged, man. He had to dodge... He, 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 he didn't dodge any of Fizz Vegito Blue's attacks, but for the 3 million, you know, non-type disadvantage attack, he dodged that. Of course he did. Of course he did. All right, what should we use now? Let's use a Princess Snake for that 30% damage reduction. And I know, you know, I'm, I'm not leaving myself a lot of items for the final stage, but as I said, Matt, I don't expect to have to use a lot of items for that final stage. In fact, I think we're gonna just, we're gonna pop the active skill here, at least for one guy. So I'm gonna leave one guy untransformed. I'm gonna pop the active skill for this guy and Take advantage of that just crazy damage because I kind of want to finish it as soon as possible because I don't want to use another item for this round. All right, so hopefully he can take him out. Um, man, so many attacks at the end is still it still makes me nervous. I think I think we'll be okay. Actually, yo, we can get an act. We can get a Dokken attack here. All right, so transformed, merge the Masu with the active skill oh my god so fast okay <laughs> still got it though still got it it's all good and yeah 2.6 million attack uh give me a nice crit all right should be enough to take that take down at least like two bars of his health come on come on i think i was talking about like global oh there we go okay 3.3 mil no crit but still a crazy amount of damage. But yeah, as far as uh, after cooler, we'll probably get something for Saiyan Day because we got something with JP at the same time last year, right? We got the Vegeta. So I expect the same thing to happen this year. And after that, okay, so for Saiyan Day, we're probably going to get the same summonable unit. But the question is, are we going to get that, you know, free to play team Bardock that JP supposedly supposed to be getting? And honestly, I don't know. I don't know if we're going to get that as well. Um, my intuition tells me most likely not. I feel like that's going to be a JP exclusive thing for a little while. And then eventually we'll get uh, we'll get it as well, like later down the line, right? But I think as far as like summonable unit goes, we're probably going to be getting like whatever summonable unit that, that JP gets for Saiyan Day. So that's gonna be exciting. And then from there, most likely Android 13, Stoke on Fest banner. Okay, oh yo, I, I, I was so scared he's gonna dodge that. And then we get supered and then we die. Like I, I could see it, man. I could see it happening. Anyways, um, from there, Android 13's banner, which I think very few people are gonna be summoning on. Maybe I'm wrong. All right, so let me know what you guys think about that. Uh, and then from there, from there, what, what, what else will we be getting? Um, ooh, should I go slasher here? I don't think it's necessary, but, you know, like, Zamasu <laughs> down the middle is just, his defense is so low, man. 37,800, it's so freaking low. So instead of go slasher, maybe we Princess Snake. Yeah, maybe we Princess Snake just for the extra damage reduction. And then we can give these to Zamasu. Uh, ooh, not that many orbs for Goku. Damn, oh, well, we can't even super. Yeah, I, I should have I focused on him more instead of the Vegeta. 
Although now Vegeta can probably take a few attacks without like straight up dying. So that's that that's something, I guess. Um, yeah, so Saiyan Day, Android 13, which I don't think a lot of people are going to be summoning on, and then Majin Vegeta and uh, Super Saiyan 3 Goku's Dual Dokkan Fest. Ooh, wow, even with the item. Even with the item. Damn, that's crazy. That's crazy. Okay, so he's really going to do me like this. He is really going to do all these attacks here. Uh... I guess it's Ghost Usher time. Yep, it's, go it's definitely Ghost Usher time. Uh, the Zamasu for a Realm of Gods is really a liability in my opinion. That's just me. It's just too many attacks, man. I mean, yeah, just too many attacks at the end to like... <sighs> to be able to hide him anywhere without Ghost Ushering. So yeah, we'll still figure it out. We'll still figure it out. I mean, we got Vegito Blue, so everything's gonna be okay. That's two supers. That's a third super. We're gonna probably get no or a third attack. That's probably gonna get a third super. There we go. Third super. So basically ah, oh, come on, don't dodge that. Don't dodge that. I was just gonna say, probably gonna, you know, solo uh MUI Goku by himself, but it doesn't seem like that's happening. Wow. That's dope. That's dope. Alright, so a crit from Super Saiyan Blue Kaku and Goku did a lot of damage there. And of course he's still stacking attack, so. Um we haven't seen anything yet. We have not seen anything yet. Uh, ooh, okay. Um, so where are the most attacks? The most attacks at the, are at the end, actually. But do I really want to put... Do I really want to put the type disadvantage guy there? I don't think so. So we might have to put him there. And... Man, it's basically just guessing like where the, the, the super is going to be now. So, okay, let's give him all these orbs. He should have a lot of defense now. Yeah, 361k, he's going to be fine. It's just the merge Zamasu in the middle now that we're going to have to really worry about. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pop a Android 8 here. I know, waste. But what can you do, right? What can you do, man? It's, the, it's our best chance of survival. So we're going to pray that we get supered in the beginning or at the end. All right, first slot or third slot? First slot or third slot? Crit? <sighs> Damn, no crit. There we go. Here, here's the super. This should be okay, right? Because we have such crazy defense right now that it shouldn't hurt us at all, really. 24 damage. There you go. Um, I'm still nervous, though. I'm still nervous. Vegito Blue has been killing it though. Alright, well, I'm not gonna take anything away from my boy Vegito Blue, it's just... The fact that I have the Zamasus, yeah, look at that damage, oh my god. The fact that we have the Zamasus is uh, making it quite challenging. Ah, <sighs> okay. Yep, so... <clears throat> as long as... Uh, Man, okay, so I'm gonna take Super Saiyan Blue Kauk and Goku out of rotation here. Um, I think I can probably afford to give these to Vegito Blue. And then we can give a bunch to Goku as well. Um, Super Saiyan Blue Goku, that is. And then we can super with Super Saiyan Blue Kai King Goku. So as long as the first attack is not a super, there we go. So not a super there. Getting 70 damage there. And then if we like super a couple times, then we can probably take a UI Goku super attack um, pretty well as well. Pretty well as well. You know what I mean? Like it, it shouldn't hurt us too much. Too much. All right, 1.3 mil. Yeah, so as predicted, he is putting in the work. He is definitely putting in the work against UI Goku. It's just other people that are making this run a little bit more challenging than it than it has to be. Okay, crit, crit counter. Ooh, dodge that one. Okay. Crit counter. Boom. Yo, one more. One more. Yo, it's gonna hurt, man. It's gonna hurt. I'm scared. Hold me. Oh, 83k? Yo, okay. That's okay. This might be it. This might be it. Oh. 
This might be it. This has got to be it. Come on, don't dodge this one. Oh my god. <laughs> this man's trolling me. This man is... Whoa. Did I... Did I just see that right? Okay. <laughs> I guess I was worried for nothing, man. I guess I was worried for nothing. Super Saiyan Blue Cock and Goku saves the freaking day. There we go, guys. The legendary Goku event completely... I mean, I guess destroyed. We did use all our items, so like it was still a little bit nerve-wracking at the end there, but... Yo, we, beat it. we still beat it like pretty handily with this team right here. Um, all thanks to my boy Super Saiyan uh, Blue Vegito or Vegito Blue, whatever you, whatever you want to call it, it doesn't matter. He has many names. Vegito Blue. All credit to him. I mean, of course, the nice assist from Super Saiyan Blue Kaoken at the end there too. Five million attack, absolute monster. But you guys already knew that, man. This dude is uh, is crazy. But there you go. We did it, guys. Realm of Gods Legendary Goku event done now only like seven or eight categories to go i know i'm slacking but i'll get it done we'll get it done so that is it for today's video thank you once again for watching taking the time of your day to click on this video as opposed to doing literally anything else and as always if you liked the video then make sure to like the damn video and if it's your first time watching me first time to the channel and you like what you see then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the tiger squad now and while you're at it hit that notification bell too so that youtube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content and that's it i'm out of here until next time hope you guys have a fantastic fantastic day i'm tiger with tiger uppercut media signing out